I, thank you for meeting with me today and no allowing problem. me to come and partner with you um, in co-teaching. I really enjoyed coming in your classroom and working with you. So we are here to discuss um, what you thought about the uh, co-teaching and, and how that went. And um, also in keeping with your goal that 90% um, of your kids would be engaged in learning while you pull small groups and uh, confer with kids. So first thing I want to ask you is what did you notice about the co-teaching we did together and your student behaviors during that time? Okay, so I would say before the first time you came, when you came to observe, um, we both saw that there were some students that were not engaged and then we brainstormed how we could help that so then we made our checklist and I noticed that when we worked together it really helped and the students started becoming more engaged and they were responding very well to the both of us together and it was very helpful. Okay and um, I think you kind of <coughs> answered some of this already. Um, what do you think went well during that time um, to help with what you were trying to accomplish with the checklist? Yeah, I would say the structures of the checklist. We tried to make the checklist very straightforward so they would understand exactly what they needed to do. They needed to have their necessary materials, which in their book box is only a few things, and then remain seated, not wandering around the room. So we just had to talk about that. <coughs> and then showing evidence of their thinking so when they're responding we could look in their journal once they put it on seesaw and see what they did and then what we modeled just making sure that they're doing what we modeled and I found that the students were much more engaged after we did our co-teaching experience okay and what are you noticing now since we did that co-teaching together uh, it's been it's been a couple of weeks mm -hmm. since we did that and now you have been able to work with them without me in the room yeah. and um, being a part of that so how uh, what are you noticing now that I'm, yeah. I'm out and but you still have your structures in place with the with the um, checklist I would say that their reading behaviors have improved a lot and they are much more engaged and especially with the new reading rotations that we talked about um, so some kids are reading on Epic and sometimes doing Freckle and then some kids are guided reading and some kids are responding and then some kids are partner reading. So they get to rotate through those things and they really like that, um, being able to switch it up a bit instead of just sitting there and reading for the whole time. Um, and yeah. Um, I know that one of the things that we were concerned about when we did our co-teaching mm -hmm. was um, the transition oh, from, yeah. from each rotation and uh, how do you feel like that's going since the structures have been put in place? I would say it's going a lot better. Um, so on my slides that I use, there's like a clean up and rotate slide. So they know when that slide comes up that it's time to move to the next station and so just that repetition has helped them realize, okay, we need to go here next and do this next. Okay, and what additional support do you think you need from me with this checklist? Because our next steps will be to gather data yeah. um, to make sure that the goal is being reached. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've talked about setting up um, a data sheet with all of the kids yeah. names and then each one of the components of the checklist yeah and I come in and I check off and then we go through the data so what do you what support do you need from me before we actually go into gathering that data uh, I don't really know if there's anything else I think that once we go through that then we'll see if there's anything we need to adjust or for you to come back or anything like that um, and um, do you think at this time we need to make any revisions to the checklist? 
Um, Anything we need to add or something that we need to take away? I was thinking maybe for some of them we could add some like pictures on the checklist so they understand it. Because I noticed that some of them had a hard time reading it. Um, even though we talked about it, just for them to visually see that. Okay, that's that's a really good thing for us to do, uh, especially for you have a couple of ESL kids in yeah. class too, so that would really be good for them. Definitely. Um, okay, so Nikki, our next steps will be for me to come in and gather the data. Okay. And um, after that, we will see if we are actually reaching your goal and if we need to make any additional revisions to the checklist as of right now we're going to add pictures too if you could uh we can get together and look at your yeah. list of students and see which ones you think need the pictures okay and we can get a checklist together yeah. and add those we'll do that before the data uh, okay i come in and gather the data but um thank you thank you no so problem. much and um, thank you we if you could send me um a time to meet together okay. with those kids up that need the checklist and then from there we will get a time for me to come in and gather that. Sounds good. All Thank right. you.